What's up guys? I'm Akila. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about KKW Beauty. I've used her products in a few videos here and there, but she recently launched in Ulta. So I thought this would be the perfect time to show you guys some of the products that I got and you know, like what should you pick up? If you're interested in that, please keep on watching. When I was picking up products from KKW, it was online because you know it just released at Ulta probably like two weeks ago there are some hits and misses and I'm gonna go ahead and share them with you guys I don't have on any lipstick or lip gloss right now because I want to show you my nudes <laughs> my nude lipsticks by KKW and my lip liners which are my favorite products to buy from KKW like they're amazing I use some of the products on my face today I use the concealer I have two of them the lightest one is shade 11 and the sh darker one is shade 12 11 is like my highlight shade and 12 is like almost my skin complexion I use it to carve out my brows and color not really color corrector like spot conceal I like the concealer it's not the best concealer but I do like it it gets the job done and it retails for $18 I believe uh, also on my face I have on the KKW Beauty baking powder this is in bake number three uh that powder is kind of like you have to learn how to use it when i first used it i did it wrong and i kind of had like splotches on my face from the powder i used a damp sponge to like press it under my eyes but what i made a mistake doing was not making sure that there was an even amount of powder on my sponge so like the best thing for you to do is like dip into the powder and then press off the excess the excess is what makes it look cakey and blotchy so if you even it out before you apply it it does its job it's definitely a brightening powder it's it's not really like a translucent powder where you could put it on and just go it definitely brings brightness and if it's too light it can make you look ashy so yeah keep that in mind and right now i don't know why but kkw doesn't have complexion products in ulta that doesn't make any sense to me because i feel like the reason well, there's plenty of reasons why people probably don't buy from KKW, but I feel like buying complexion products online is very hard, especially when a brand doesn't take returns. So I just so happened to get lucky and I saw other YouTubers use these products that was in the same skin tone as I am, like Iris and Makeup Shayla. They use these concealers, so I just picked the colors that they use. Makeup Shayla also had a hard time with the powder as well, and it's a good powder, but it's not my favorite. If you pick it up, I feel like the packaging is super cute. It is small. Let's see, it's 0.123 ounces compared to, we're gonna compare it to the Anastasia one, which is 0.9. I think they're around the same price range too, so I wouldn't really say that they're the same because I don't really get that much brightness from the Anastasia one but I get a lot of brightness from the baked powder I have on one of the blushes this one is called Karma this one's from the Blossom collection I, I don't believe that they carry this shade of blush in Ulta either but I still wanted to show you guys and I have the blush on today with this look I really love this blush right now this is like one of my go-to blushes i keep it on my desk like i don't know i know i've heard like i've heard a lot of people hate on the packaging but i love the clear packaging i love that clear neat acrylic looking packaging she did it to me like this is so pretty okay so i think that's pretty much all the face products that i have from kkw i do not own an eyeshadow palette um when it released in ulta i went to go swatch them to see if i wanted to buy one and I didn't see one that I felt like I needed so I didn't buy one I've heard good things about the palettes but when I swatched them I didn't really see the need for a girl of my skin complexion to get any of them except for the um heat palette I, I don't know what it's called 
so fire i guess that's what it's called that one is workable like the whole palette is kind of workable for a girl my skin tone but the other ones is kind of like half usable shades and half not usable shades and i get that they kind of try to split it in half where there's light shades and then there's dark shades but it's not enough for me to spend almost 40 dollars on a palette if i can't use at least 75 percent of the shades so as of right now i don't have a palette I do see that she's going to do another collab with Makeup Mario. If that palette is like more brown girl friendly, I will definitely buy it. We could go ahead and get into lips now, my favorite part. If you watch any of my videos or you see me on Instagram, like 75%, not even, probably 80% of the time if I'm wearing a nude lip, it's KKW. I have two of her liners. I have nude two and nude three and i'm gonna swatch them on my hand for you so you guys can see the difference in the shades new two is obviously the lighter one and new three is the darker one new three is my favorite i feel like when new two goes on my lips i don't really like the tone of it but it could just be me because i like chocolate deep liners but i'm gonna try it out for you guys anyways Yeah, okay, so this is what Nude 2 looks like, which is pretty. It's natural looking, but wait till you see number three. Like, three is everything to me. Don't mind the wonky lining because I'm going to take this off, but this is what Nude 3 looks like. They go on so smoothly. They're like butter. They're creamy. They're really good. I'm going to compare them to some ColourPop liners because... Colourpop has, they have their BFF line which is like nude brown liners and Makeup Shayla has one called BFF4 which is the darkest shade in the collection. Oh shit. <laughs> it looks just about the same. Um, Shayla's own is a little more red in my opinion but they're very close. Wow. And there's one called BFF3. Do I have that? Okay, yes, I have BFF3 too. So I'm gonna swatch that next to new two. Okay, BFF3 looks pretty much almost the same as new two, but it's a little darker. So I guess I just showed you guys some dupes. If you don't want to buy the KKW liners, BFF4 and BFF3 are very close let's go ahead and get into the lips i'm going to show you the colors first without liner and then apply liner okay i have like i have six of them these are my favorite lipsticks so don't judge me even though they're like six different shades of nude okay we're going to start with nude four this is the lightest nude that i have And this is what nude 4 looks like without the liner. I'm going to line everything with nude 3. Okay, this is nude 4. We're going to try nude 5. Okay, nude 5 is definitely more on the pinker side compared to nude 4. And this is what nude five looks like. Okay, now we're gonna try nude seven. I didn't purchase nude six. Um, I feel like they're all kind of, they're really close. So they're like one step above each other, but seven kind of took it into fall time for me. It's more of a brown nude. There's an eight, which is the darkest one. And that one is more of a chocolate. It's so pretty. I think I'm gonna buy that one next. Let's go ahead and put on liner. Okay, and that is nude seven. That's all the ones that I have in the nude collection. Okay, so now there is a pink collection which came out in the Blossom collection. And I have pink one. There is like, I think five of these shades that came out in the pink collection this one is going to be a little bright and a little offensive but with my liner it's perfect so i'm going to go ahead and put this on in person it doesn't look as pasty as it does on camera but it's actually a really pretty shade 
Okay, this is pink one. I usually wear this lipstick with a gloss on top because it just smooths it all out. I do own a lip gloss from KKW Beauty and this one is peach. I'm just going to put that on top. This is pretty. I wish I would have worn this one last because I think this one suits my makeup look. Next shade is pink five. I forgot I had this. Pink five has like a purple hue to it. Of course, same liner. And this is what pink five looks like. Okay, one more. This one comes from the Glam Bible collection and this one is called Classic Icon 2. I feel like I wear this one the most. And this is what it looks like without the liner. This is Classic Icon number 2. This one's pretty with my look too but I don't know. My lips are kind of tired so I think I'm going to just put pink number 1 on top of this. I don't feel like taking this off. And I'm going to put the peach gloss on top. I'm going to show you guys a swatch of all of the lipstick shades next to each other. The lipsticks are definitely my favorite thing about KKW. They're all so creamy. I don't feel like any of them gave me a matte finish. Some were a little more less creamy than others, but... They're all like creamy buttery type of finish. And I do believe you could find all of these lipsticks at Ulta. There's two other collections. I think there's like a, a peach orange collection and a red collection. Okay, so that's pretty much my KKW collection. The lipsticks are definitely a must buy. Like if you're in Ulta, pick up a lipstick, swatch it, find your favorite nude. You need it, it's bomb. I'm not gonna lie to you guys those nudes are bomb i don't know what else people would expect from kim but like nudes like no pun intended but all she wears is nude lipsticks and these are phenomenal yeah so yeah that wraps up today's video if you found my video helpful please give it a thumbs up and if you aren't already please subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye